What's up, fellow classers? It's Apollyon here bringing you a cleanup attack. And for once, I'm the clean upper. So I get to, to, to clean up an attack that, uh, and not somebody cleaning up one of my attacks. So uh, Val does a great job, great plan, uh, executes it very nicely. The only problem is runs out of time. And I think uh, maybe could have tweaked a little bit of units, which I do, um, so which would have been a three, but for all intents and purposes, a great uh, plan that was easily adapted and just changed very slightly uh, to get the three stars. So he's going to bring a queen walk uh, go va ho, and uh, he's going to come in at three o'clock or 315 or whatever you want to call it. Let's go ahead and fast forward this. There we go, and drop the queen down there and uh, start the, the funneling with the wizards on the bottom just for the second phase. So it, it takes good advantage of that. And uh, the queen is going to start walking up uh, towards the noon type of compartment. Then he's going to do a queen charge into the 2 o'clock or, or almost 2.30 compartment where that archer tower is. Got minion funneling up top. Again, helping that queen. Drops a uh, giant so he gets those uh, wall breakers in. Here's one of the changes that I made. Uh, do you see how that wall, that, that third wall breaker was completely useless? It was just two count that didn't do anything whatsoever. So I'll, I'll make that uh, type of uh, adaption. Now, right here, uh, needed to drop that poison a little bit sooner. Or in fact, it's not even dropped yet. And he've, he's got a baby dragon, Valk wizard, and king, bar, enemy barbarian king, all in that vicinity that could be slowed down there. And I think the rage was started a little bit early as well. So finally drops those poisons in there. Doesn't get as much advantage as he could have. But still, it's very it's it's getting the job done. That baby dragon's taken out. Now we've got the king. And I think this is the, the biggest problem here is he's already just raged his queen up. And that will go and haunt him towards uh, the end of this raid. So he's got the second thing in here. And here's what I noticed when I watched this. Um, he's dropping a golem here, tanking for some of these. Uh, defenses, but the golem itself doesn't get very much uh, value out of it. It's tanking to let these Valkyries in, but the funnel has already been created. Dropping those Valkyries up top there, they're going to bust into that uh, level 8 wall with just one or two hits, so it's not really a tough break for them, and they don't really have to tank that, have that much tanking, so the value is not really uh, in where that golem is. In fact, I think the golem is a max golem. It doesn't get busted all the way towards the end. Right now, the Valkyries are already running past that golem and are going to start taking these defense out also. Now, take a look at up top here. We've got queen on queen action in just a second. Uh, drops the jump there for the Valkyries to push them through, but as soon as this queen makes their way up top, she's going to get taken out by the enemy queen. No more poisons, no more um, ability. So th as soon as she gets done with that sweeper and a couple of these trash things, there we go. Queens are going to step up, hit each other, and uh, the friendly queen loses this battle. The uh, enemy queen is on life support, but still gets taken out there so we've got all that cleaning up at the noon compartment that would have been done by the queen and nothing's happening there uh does drop some hogs in on the back end to take out that nine o'clock compartment still have a full golem in there really not doing too much not even tanking at all just kind of miffing a little bit here and there with his uh, swings to take out some of these defenses. We've got 45 seconds left. We've got a bunch of hogs that are still up. Still a good amount, a handful of Valkyries. So a lot of uh, cleanup troops, but I mean, we've got a lot of buildings to clean up. So they're uh, just going to go ahead and run out of time. They've got some large hit point buildings like this town hall, a couple gold storages that these Valks and uh, barbarians and golems are taking care of. But again, we're just running out of time. We're going to make our way all the way to the end. And then we're going to go ahead and drop on the... Uh, look how many troops he has left over. So obviously, I know that the strategy was very, very well done. Just needed to be spread out, sped up a little bit and make a couple of tweaks here and there. So we'll go ahead and check my attack out on that as the cleanup.
All right, so the first thing I do as far as the composition is I bring more Valks to go ahead and speed things up as far as damage. Drop the Golem. Uh, one Golem is equal about four Valks, depending on how you do it. So instead of bringing the, the five of his, uh, his own, I brought eight of my own Valks. I think the same amount of Hogs. Uh, brought an extra Giant just to tank for that beginning entrance on the second phase instead of using the Golem. And I'm um, pretty much going to duplicate everything else exactly the same. There's no reason to change it. Drop the queen exactly the same spot. Drop those wizards exactly the same spot to go ahead and funnel for the second phase. I mean, everything went really, really well there. So there was no need to change anything up. So we've got the queen doing her thing. Uh, minion is funneling up top there. And um, it's going to be about the same type of result. I'm going to go hold, uh, go ahead and hold back my rage for a little bit on that queen. And uh, drop the giant in there only... Did I bring three or two wall breakers? Either one. I think I brought three actually as well just for that expo. But I'll go ahead and uh, I'll rage up in just a little bit. Right there we go. We start the poison drop a little bit early for the, that clan castle. Rage up at that point. Now everything is standing in poison the entire time. And uh, the queen is going to have no problem picking them off one by one. Standing in rage, uh, there is no problem to take care of that entire clan castle. Now it's time to start the second phase here. And uh, drop the giant in there just to make sure those wall breakers can get in. Uh, the funnel's already been created, so those Valkyries are just going to tear through this Tesla farm very, very quickly with almost very little damage. And uh, drop the jump in there. They're going to have to backtrack a little bit. Drop a few hogs to help them out so they don't have to backtrack too much. Now they can reroute there, and then I'll drop a heal to go ahead and heal them back up. Look at this. Queen on queen, full queen gets to use her ability. She will two-shot the enemy queen. And uh, now we're going to go ahead and see her being able to take out some of these buildings, especially defenses and uh, trash buildings like those uh, high hit point storage collector, uh, elixir storage collectors and the gold storage up top. So uh, everything's going very, very well. Still have a bunch of Valkyries and Hogs. Use that last heal to push them through. This queen has still got full energy, full health with uh, tanking some of these defenses and then sends the rest of the hogs up top there to uh, take out these uh, remaining defenses. Uh, probably about eight or more hogs left over need to take out that last air defense and they, it goes down, but plenty of time left over. Queen is still doing her thing, taking out some of these big defense buildings or trash buildings. And then we've got uh, our lonely archer up there taking care of that elixir collector but uh, Valks are doing their thing up top. Tons of hogs. King is still full health. Wizards, Valkyries coming from the flank, from the bottom. Uh, it's about over for this space. And uh, with the help of Val's great planning and great attack strategy, we're able to get to three. I think this was a second hit. So that's, the, that's what we're trying to do is, uh, you know, really optimize good attacks, tweak them a little bit to get those three stars to make it, uh, you know, try to only hit a base two times if possible. And uh, we'll go ahead and get those, uh, you know, three stars for this. So hopefully you guys were able to see, you know, how you can take an attack that is very well planned out, very well executed, but needs to just be tweaked a little bit in time-wise and maybe troop-wise and uh, adjusted so you can get that three. No reason to reinvent the wheel. Go ahead and uh, use your friendly challenges to, you know, get used to these attacks. Go ahead and practice them. If you find this of a benefit, please share them with the rest of your clanmates. Tell them to watch these videos. Go ahead, like, subscribe. I've got a bunch more good stuff coming out. And uh, hopefully you guys will be able to take these videos, get used to spell compositions, army compositions. Get those six-star clan wars. Practice those three-star attacks.